Hello everyone, it's Lady Taka, aka Crest, and it's time for a thrift store rummage sale finds video for the last week, which would be the um, August 12th through today the 18th. Um, and this is going to be a long video because I got a lot of stuff this week, uh, mainly because uh, today ended up being uh, half off at Goodwill, <laughs> and I found some stuff there. Oh, apparently it's going to rain according to the weather app. So... I have a lot to go through. So, speaking of half off, the uh, Silver Creek Thrift had half off their vintage section this week. So I picked up a few things I've never had in my co collection before. I paid $3 total, because they were $3 each. These are both Hall little mini pitcher creamer things. They're both in that green color. So I probably can sell them together for 20 or something plus shipping. Uh, so not planning to keep, but at least if they don't sell, they're small enough. And then in that same store, picked up my first piece of Hager. And uh, I've already looked this up. They originally went eight, so I got it for four, uh, which makes it a little more possible to make a little money on it. Uh, a similar one sold for 15 on eBay plus shipping. Um, and the only one up right now is, uh, got horrible chipping all along. This has two tiny chips, one right there and one right there. And there's some goo gone stuff. Need to get that off. But overall for a planter that probably sat outside, it's overall pretty good. Um, this chip, you can barely see at all. There's a little chip on the corner, but face it that way. I'll be good. Um, the one on there right now has got like a giant chip out of it, like completely, and they want 10 for it. So, um, again, planning to sell that. Um, so I don't forget some of the items on the floor. Paid $2 for the shelf, which is actually a shelf and rain holder, as in R E I N, uh, for horses reins. I will probably donate to this to Sunrise Animal Sanctuary. I was going to actually make something like this for them out of, I got from the junk one night, a horse that was in a little wicked shape and I was going to put them on top of a shelf and put reins on it, but I think this is sufficient in itself. And then another sale, 50 cents for some pool floats that were already cut in half, nice and convenient for getting in the car. Um, and I've already experimented with one and cut a line along it, and it does work well to wrap around things. In a similar fashion, got some insulator, pipe insulator, which I uh, do tend to use uh, for pipes in my room. I think I've got them all in my craft room covered because I had a drip problem one year. But for a quarter, I thought I'd pick those up. Okay, these are what Rita got. And there's three different prices on them, but she got them all for the 79 cent price tag because they were obviously out all at different times. This one still has its original label on it. All right, so there's two of these ones with uh, the castle and Donald on it. Um, these were for a 25th anniversary thing. And this too says the same thing on the bottom and it's got Lumiere on it and Hollywood and Vine. We are keeping those for now. Um, since we do have a repeat, if we find some more and we end up repeating, we might sell a set through my Etsy. Another glassware item I got for two bucks. Uh, new in box, uh, 22 ounce uh, Coke glasses that have hamburgers and hot dogs and Coca-Cola bottles and mustard on them. So I figured they were new in box. Someone has cross-listed this on Etsy and eBay for 60 plus shipping. So I easily could put 50 on them and see how it goes. But again, if they don't sell, I love them. So oh. and let's see. I found these lovely ladies at a you know, donate to charity sale. I believe they're modern. I found them painted in many different ways. I think they were either TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like that. Um, but we're probably just going to keep them for decoration for around here. I think I paid a buck for them. I paid five bucks for my whole thing. So um, we like them. There's kind of like a conga line going on. 
and let's tuck you in the floor gentle. And then this is actually a pretty cool souvenir piece. It's by Alaska Black Diamond in, in uh, Ketchikan, Alaska. It's called The Whale Song. And they do do a short version of it on here, but if you look it up, there's an entirely cool version of the whole story about this lady waiting for her man out at sea. And she sang a long song and it brought the whale into her and then the Thunderbird all helped her search for her man. Um, so I paid two bucks. The only thing wrong with it is the fins that turn into bird's heads. There's one beak injury back here, but I'm going to keep it anyway. I'm not going to sell it, but I had a little shock. I thought it was just some like cheap little, like five, 10, $15 souvenir you pick up while you're in Alaska. Um, this sells online today, this nine inch tall totem. Oh, I got, cause I, I very rarely see a whale in a totem. Um, a hundred and fifty some dollars, I think it said. Um, I was in a little bit of shock. Um, I think I left the site up because I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, a hundred and sixty four for the nine inch figure. And don't know if you can see it on the screen. No, of course not. But it is the same one. So that feels like my my score of the week, not for resale because. Uh, it is injured already, but I do love Native stuff. I would have a Native American Studies minor, but when I was taking all the Native Studies classes, they were part of the English department, so they ended up part of my English major. Um, I'm not going in any particular order, by the way. Then on Friday when we were rummage sailing, because we got to rummage sail both days, I got a lot of five planes in a bag. Couldn't really look at them. Um, but it was Airborne Day, and today is actually Aviation Day. So, um, this is the one out of the lot I'm keeping because his nose cone is missing and his landing gear is missing, but I'm just going to have him land, crash land in the village somewhere. But I love that there's some details on there, like a pinup, the shark face, um, the sun things. And this one actually doesn't say which one it is on the bottom, whereas the others do. All right. No landing gear makes it hard to put you anywhere. Okay. So then I got two smaller ones, one that says United States Air Force, little bit of paint rub off and blue angels. And the blue angel one, I believe is a Hornet aircraft. And this one, I can't remember what aircraft this is for some reason. It looks very similar to the Hornet, but I can't remember. Um, so that's the two, all the smaller planes. Then the almost large plane is the flagship American Airlines uh, one. Uh, its landing gear does appear to be missing. Or at least its stand. I didn't get stands with any of these. But it at least has propellers and everything on it. And then the, the find out of these was this one that still has its landing gear on it. It's a B-17 Flying Fortress with still that cool shark detail, and this is called the Second Patches. Um, someone is trying to sell this same model little plane for 25 on Etsy right now. I didn't see what the solds were, but I was like, well, I guess that's worth the $3 for the bag if someone thinks it's worth 25 already to sell. So I will try to probably sell the four planes in a lot, and I'm just going to keep this one for myself. Figuring they do look pretty vintage uh, to me. I will confirm that before I put them on Etsy. But they do look vintage to me. And I guess I should keep going on this side. Um, this, I can't sell on Etsy, but it had such a cool design I had to pick it up. It's actually a Michigan Starbucks mug. And these actually sell pretty well on eBay. So I did open an eBay account. I couldn't get my old one back unfortunately, under Tiger K13. So it's under Trash Gator Treasure. So I'm thinking this might be one of the first things I list on eBay. Um, and I might wait and see if I can find any more. Because I am in Michigan, so it makes sense. I found it in Michigan. Uh, then I got this at that same sale. I got the witches. Uh, I did look. The plate was not there. But this is supposed to be a Parmesan cheese or a Mama cheese shaker. And they even have this still, which is the insert you put on when you're done. So that it's sealed from the inside, your shaker. 
And it's a little Bugs Bunny Looney Tune thing. It's from like 1997, I think. Uh, wait, no, 1993 on the bottom. It's made by Acme Homeworks. Um, so it is technically vintage. There was originally a plate, but there are no chips or cracks on this. I will try to sell that. But again, I love cheese, so if it doesn't sell, it won't be sad. And then part of the half-off day... I don't normally buy teapots because my mom collected enough teapots that and I bought one in the 90s when I wanted my own. Um, I think we have five teapot sets, so I will try to sell these. So I found an Odegary teapot in the Fruit of the Spirits program. It is marked Odegary on the bottom like it's carved in. I can't tell, you can tell that, but it says Odegary. And Japan on it. So we have the, the teapot, and then I found the creamer next to it. Same pattern, and then I was like, crap, there's no sugar bowl. And then I went to the end cap, and the sugar bowl was on the end cap. So, um, did she take the tags off? Oh, that's funny. I think, uh, I think I paid two bucks for the whole set. So I will try to sell that. Toys will be last. Um, I guess artwork. All right. So this is more modern. So I'm probably going to just hang this in my office. I paid a whole 99 cents for it. Um, it's just a lovely blue Huron little, uh, I think it's a colored ink drawing, actually. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's signed by the artist, Daryl Elbert, and there's a little information in the back, and it says, keep out direct sunlight, and I know no place better than to keep out direct sunlight than my office, because uh, there's no uh, window in my office, so sounds like the perfect place for it. And then one of the local artists was having a rummage sale, and apparently she's clearing out her stock. Normally, her postcards are $4 each, or 5 for 16 I got 4 for a buck each, and she's this. She she does more than these dragons, but I absolutely love this series. She was actually, when I was at um Winter Outback, my first year, she was the booth right next to me, and I fell in love with her work. So it's by Eli's Opus Dragon Love Series. This is dated from 2013. So you have this dragon, and sorry for the reflection off the envelopes, but I don't want to get them dirty, and I will probably just frame them together. Then. Another dragon in a shnay. And then she told me this is Brutus, the red-nosed dragon. So I picked those up for me. Now, my other artwork finds. So Friday we're rummage sailing, and this is the stage sale, and I couldn't find anything. And then there was a thing that said antique frames. I'm like, well, I don't normally buy antique frames. So I flipped through, and there was this beautiful antique frame with a gorgeous print in it. And I've since learned that it is actually the original frame because it says Buzza on this little hook. And this is actually a Buzza Productions, I think, of Minneapolis. But um, they did, they were like a greeting call, a card kind of company, and they did these motto plaques. And this one uh, looks so pretty, and I couldn't find an exact comparable on this. I'm not getting a worth point count just to check the price on this. So I will probably try to sell this in my Etsy shop. It's dated 1926, and it has artwork up here by Wheeler, and then a poem uh, from the works of Lawrence Hawthorne, and it says, uh, To a nurse there is no truer measure of success than a life of cheerful, friendly helpfulness. No greater honor than to render aid with a heart devoted, patient, unafraid. To heal the sick, to care for those in need, to observe the... Ethics of a noble creed is your contribution to all human good and the glory of heroic womanhood. May fortune guide and bless you day by day and gladness cheer and brighten duty's way, helping you when hours are long and pleasures few to remember what your friends are proud of you. So I will try to sell it. And if it doesn't sell, I do have several nurses in my life. So this is the second nurse item I found this month. I, I did list my, uh, Gadro nurse um, on Etsy already, so I'll probably list this. And then, in a weird thing, this is, was my risk today. 
they were labeled for three dollar two ninety nine each, so I paid three for both. And it's some sort of religious holiday today where you're supposed to like think to yourself what the way you communicate with your God. And then I found like these religious icons, and I normally would pass them up, but I noticed this one said nine twenty five on it, which means sterling silver. And then this one has a little signature on it, so. I grabbed them. Unfortunately, no information on the back of the framing. They look pretty good in this frame. I did find um, this one online in a different frame with more labeling on the back. So I can steal the information off. And he was trying to sell it for 48 just this one. Um, I, I have to do some more research. That was with eight minutes of research before this video. But I thought they were very well done, the carvings themselves. and. I don't think I want to try and take them out of these frames. These are like impossibly glued down frames, so I think I'd have to sell them in the frame. But I think for three bucks I can make my money back. Oh. And then it was Elephant Day on Monday, World Elephant Day. And so I wanted to find something, and this was the first elephant thing I found. And it is what Rita calls a fruit bowl because it's all rounded on the bottom, so it flip flops. And you'll see. The price on it's five ninety five. I think I paid four seventy five because Rita put it in her cart for senior day. Um, and I think it's soapstone. I'm not sure. It's kind of got that marbled effect, and I'm not sure where it's from. I haven't been able to find a similar one online. Um, it's a little heavy, and it would probably take more than a twelve inch package to ship. But I might try to sell it. And remember, anything I sell that has animal imagery on it in any way either goes towards you pause or sunrise animal sanctuary so um i don't know how much this is worth um i just thought the engraving was really awesome and you're gonna play tipsy over here i know you and then i did find two more elephants that day but they're in the toy pile and then a few days later the the night later actually when i went to goodwill on tuesday i found this little what i assume is either chinese or japanese but someone wrote to Patty on her birth. Ooh, close. Um, but he's playing a lute. He was really cute. He was a whole 99 cents. And I thought it was funny that I found another elephant. Then this I paid a buck for. I finally found an owl small enough to ship. They actually, this says MLG on the bottom. So I'm not sure I wasn't able to find this online, but I'm sure I could sell it for eight bucks plus shipping and uh, donate to the animal cherry. Um, they actually had something with the similar glaze on it that was like um, probably the size of a standard little side table um, for 65, which would have been half off that day because it was in the vintage section. But I didn't know anyone who could find a place in their home to hold it. Um, so I went with the little or smaller owl. Okay, now we're going to start putting that back. And then, because I like to have some Christmas in my store now that I'm doing vintage, these two are meant to go together. They were sold separately for 79 cents each. But they both, once I move the tags, say 5604. Now she's not, neither of them are in perfect condition. He's got a little something on his cheek that I'm going to try to get off, but a little tiny bit of her uh, nose color came off. But I figured I'd sell them together as a cute couple, not trying to make a huge profit on it. Um, just something cute and adorable to put in the shop for Christmas. Oh, I'll lay them down carefully and in a likewise fashion. Uh, I paid a whole quarter for him at an estate sale yesterday. Um, he's plastic, so he'll be light to ship. And I've actually found, um, this is a Niagara Plastics Bank. Um, so he's got a little hole in the head there. Um, cute little feather detailing in that. I haven't tried to clean him at all. He's a little slightly on the creamier yellow side. I'm sure he's supposed to be bright white, but that just shows his age. I think he's from the 70s. I looked him up. I didn't see any solds, but some people were listing him for $25 to $35. And I was like, I don't need that much. Jeez, guys, what, what do you think this is? Um, but he doesn't look nicked or anything. So, and again, every animal item. I'm saving the toys for last. They're all over the floor. 
All right, picked this up today for 50 cents or so. I haven't gotten the label off yet, but I think it says made in Mexico on here. And I'll have to use the Goo Gone on it. But it's a cute little bear figurine. Um, again, I'll try to sell it in Etsy. If it doesn't sell, I guess it's going to live in Rita's room here. You know, the uh, bear lady. Just why that's it there. Um, more animals. Uh, these were part of that $5 for the charity sale. They're just little uh, stone carved uh, dolphins. And when they're laying down, they look like they're swimming. So if you had like a one of those, I think they'd look really cool on one of those coffee tables where someone's doing the wood and done the cutout and put like the uh, blue glass or uh, blue resin in. I, I think they'd look really cool on there swimming in the river. Um, so I probably paid like a buck for them. <laughs> and as you can see, I paid a whole quarter for this. And it's, I grabbed it because it was a guitar and I love music. As you can tell, because I grabbed it, loot an elephant. Um, but apparently it's a sun catcher. Um, I didn't see any markings or anything on it, but uh, I figured I could put it in for like even just five bucks in my store and someone could add it to their order to get to their 35 for free shipping. And it would be a cute vintage ornament on their tree, even if they wanted, they could take it off of that. <sighs> Then more kind of Christmassy kind of themed, although this is an October angel. Paid a whole quarter for her. And I, unfortunately, her sticker's gone, but I have looked her up. And uh, I can't tell if this is supposed to be her foot peeking out. I think it is. It's a bit yellow. Um, but this is October angel. And I know I've seen um, Nesting Haven pick these up before and do pretty well on them. And besides it's Halloween themed, if I ended up stuck with it, uh, the Halloween mask is cool. In fact, I'm glad it was this one with this mask because I don't think I'd want to sell any of the other versions because they had like almost nightmare before Christmas masks. So um, so we'll try to sell her. Um, she's listed all over right now, but oh God, please don't, don't break the little glass animals that are next. Uh, I found some glass animals last week, and actually that bull I found his tail was broke after the video. Um, but this is a little family and of little hand-blown glass deer. So this is the daddy, the mommy, and, and you can tell there's a little tiny ponto down here that they are hand-blown, and then two babies. And these were part of that $5 I spent. And then... I paid a whole quarter for a Decca Wicket Ewok bowl. Um, I actually have a Empire Strikes Back lot on Etsy right now, so I know Decca does decently. This isn't in the best shape though, but I had to rescue the Ewok. So we're gonna just gently put Mommy and Daddy in with them. And then along, this I got today, it was originally $2.99, so I got for like a buck 50, and I hope I can peel it this off. There we go. Just enough to get it off the uh, silver plated made in Hong Kong sticker. But it's just a cute little silver plated cat who's very tarnished right now. I probably won't polish her super up. I'll probably just use the, just a polish cloth on her and take off some of it just to see that it, no one ruined the undercoat at all. But for a dollar fifty. Uh, it is a little heavier because it's metal, but um, raise the money for you, Paws. Uh, crafting. Picked up some more dominoes to make pendants on. I do Scrabble tile pendants and domino pendants, and they're what half my Etsy store is because they're just the one craft that's cheapest to mail. Um, but I do plan on putting up more single coasters. Generally, um, you wouldn't want to buy just a single coaster to then pay for four bucks to pay then eight dollars shipping but you can buy multiples and if you get up to 35 the shipping's free um this is a more modern thing i picked this up because it was a, a just a fun little item to maybe use it's a little hedgehog toothpick holder and it says it comes with a bunch of recipes i haven't checked what's in here yet so 
but I paid like a buck for it, and then I paid a buck for some uh, other uh, baked goods. So he's pretty cute. He's just basic white, and you put there's enough. There's just a center for holding major amounts, and then you can do fancy things all around like this. So I thought that might be cute. I have buffets twice a year, so it might be cute to put out for the buffet. It's definitely modern. Did the dominoes. Those down there. Did the kitties. So two more vintage items and then toys galore. Um, so normally I wouldn't pick up just fondue forks, but this had the coolest stand ever, making them look like they are swords instead of just fondue forks. The only marking on the bottom is a Japan sticker. I paid, oh, a buck for it, about. Um, oh, and today's thing, I was eight cents away from my 25, and at our local Goodwills, if you spend 25, the next time you go, you get 20% off. So when I go Tuesday night, like I always do, I get 20% off. So, and hopefully they will restock it. Look, I don't, everyone has a thing, so they're all different colors, so you can tell whose is whose. I have not looked this up at all. Um, I just thought it was very cute with the stand. In actuality, I think I have a fondue pot that would go with this if I want to sell it. Um, we haven't had fondue here for quite a long time. But I thought for a buck, I, I couldn't lose. Um, and then my last vintage piece, I paid two fifty four, And you can see it's a Dryden uh, pottery. Uh, piece. This is supposed to be part of the Ozark Frontier series. And actually someone barely used it because they probably couldn't get the sticker off. The original sticker's half there on the front. Um, but I don't even eat fish. And this is going to be a bitch to ship because it's so long. But the glazing was so gorgeous. I had to do it. And someone was hanging it on their wall. Because there's a little thing there. So I don't know if someone wants to actually use it as a fish plate, but it looks really cool. And there's no chips or cracks. It's a little dirty in places. I was checking to make sure it wasn't chipped. There's a little bit of dirt here I'm going to have to get off. Um, I didn't find this exact one. Um, someone else is selling one for like 60 on Etsy right now without shipping. Um, I do plan to try and sell it. Uh, all right, now we're to toys. So I figured for a quarter, it was worth the box it was in for storage. But I want, it's a bunch of vintage, cool little cowboys and Indian toys. Whole box of them, yeah, canoe, a couple wagons, covered wagon. Someone just threw in a supplies paper box. There's some, like, a random fencing. Oh, your wheels came off. They're there, though. There you go. Pop your wheel back into place. But, a whole little box. Oh, and ironically, two totem poles in one day. I can't find any real markings on them. They're just little pieces of plastic. Um, I, I see some spelling just some of the figurines for like 10 for a lot, but I figured they make a good Christmas section item. Um, they look pretty vintage to me. Uh, apparently this one must have had a top at one point because it looks fairly similar design to this one, which I just have to pop the thing back into place. But I figured for a quarter, I could not lose on this set. Um, there's horses and cowboys. So. Okay. More toys. Okay. Alright, so this is in toys. Found these in the free box. They're little, uh, like, cushions for, like, things. But I figured they'd make just good packing material for free. So there's two of those, and then the only clothing I bought, which I plan to keep, I think this is a quarter, I think, yeah, is a Winnie the Pooh shirt, Poo-a-rama. So 
I'll have to throw that in the wash today because I have to do some wash today. Okay, and then earlier in the week when we were at St. Vinny's, I think, no, this was at Pack Rats. I got a bunch of toys for like three bucks. And this was in them. So I went, oh, look, I found Christmas piggy baby Muppets. Wonder if I could find Kermit. Well, I did at another room sale. I found Baby Kermit complete with tag and Baby Kermit 2. So I get to keep one Baby Kermit. Not that I don't have a vintage Kermit the Frog adult um, on my bed, bed right now. Um, so I get to keep one. But I figured right now this is the happiest piggy's been because she gets two Kermies. Of course, there's a temptation to make Baby Constantine on one of these. But... <clears throat> Um, I figured sell two together and it would make a good lot. Um, these aren't vintage enough to sell on Etsy, but for a buck, I got a bunch of fairies. And um, some of them are broke on the bottom ones, but the got six out of the seven in this set, apparently, um, with the nice hard bonds. These are in fine shape, so I might throw that on eBay as a lot for just someone to, you know, do as a stocking stuffer. And then my uh, other elephant finds. What's my other elephant? Hiding very well in there, apparently. Well, I found Horton as a finger puppet. Again, found him on World Elephant Day. There's, there's the little, little, come here. And then I can't resist a pink elephant, little tiny pink elephant finger puppet. And again, thought it was appropriate on World Elephant Day. And then I picked through a whole bin of toys. Um, I don't actually have any furkins, but I thought it was insane that I found both pairs of the boots. And I'm sure I could put them up and someone needs a replacement pair. Um... This actually was in the junk this week we won at Trivia. It is a uh, binoculars Penguins of Madagascar set. Uh, probably keeping that. Um, found Belle. I'm just going to put her in the village with the rest of the princesses that I already have. Here's one Care Bear. I know I found two others that are similar. Figured I could sell them as a set. That Cheer Bear, Friendship Bear, and Sunshine Bear. I had to pay $3 for all of them. Found this in the box. It's uh, the guinea pig from Secret Life of Pets. I found this might just go in my Christmas village. It's a actually new toy. It's the Toy Story 4, and it's the little aliens, but it's like a carnival game. But it's still in the bag. Um, this was in the junk this week. A little crazy Joker. Again, sorry, it's going to be like an hour video. Um, Little Pokemon Charmin still in the package. Uh, random Lego piece was in the junk. Got some cars. Uh, Snoopy driving a fire truck. Some like neon cars. I'm thinking of just doing a vintage car lot on Etsy. Uh, random Paw Patrol. Uh, BFG truck. A little construction hut. This I'm keeping. Looks like a bomb figure. Thought that was cute. Uh, there's the other Snoopy thing. It's a cat catcher instead of a dog catcher. Uh, little Plymouth. And little Quasimodo Wilson from Hotel Transylvania. And then I got some pins. This, like, witch bear pin. And then... There's like a partridge and pear tree pin, and then I grabbed this U.S. pin because it has two pin backs that I can steal. Uh, and we're down to the last. So I found this vintage tramp that Miss Kirsten must have made a sweater for. Name on label, paid a buck for him. And then a vintage Minnie Mouse. Paid a buck for her. I probably will try to sell her. I think I don't have a tramp, so I might keep tramp. And then my last item of the week for today, half off. I'm keeping it, even though I don't normally buy myself something this huge. 
This is a baby Yeti. Kind of reminded me of that uh, movie I saw last year, but it's not from that. This literally, they wanted four originally. It was two. Let's take that off the label. Didn't ruin it. Awesome. Um, and it says, it's too new to sell for one. It's by Patera. And why did they put a label over the writing? I hate that. Can't save that. Come on. Baby Yetis are hard to spot even though they are so big because they are extremely shy. So it's by yawari.com. Um, unfortunately, the store actually put the scan bar over it and ruined the writing. But for for two bucks, this can sit on my bed even. Like not even up where all the other animals sit. He can just sit directly in my bed or she can. A uh, little detailing in the paws, little pink pop out. So I think it's supposed to be a girl one. But that is everything I found this week. I know it was a very long video. We've hit the 36 minute mark. Thank you for watching. <laughs>